Hey everybody, I'm Jake Brown, and it's another Wednesday, so that means it's time for Stoners Ask Questions, hashtag SAQ. Uh, thanks for everybody who sent in questions this week, um, especially the people that reminded me that this new acronym sounds a lot like snack. I think I just said acronym instead of acronym because I am already high for this one, but we're going to be smoking more in just a moment. There are a ton of questions this time. We only had two last time, so keep sending them in. I have cool giveaways. Uh, we're giving this pen away later. Hello? Pen cam. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in just a minute. Uh, but first, strain of the day is Lucinda Williams from a dispensary in Denver called Kind Meds. I am not in Denver right now. I am up in Frisco, Colorado, um, not skiing or snowboarding, but hanging out and getting high in the vacation rental. All right, um, so here we go. Uh, question one, Ben from Omaha asks, if you could smoke with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? All right, Ben from Omaha. Um, I answered this question before on my Reddit AMA. Um, if you want to check that out, uh, just go to reddit.com, search for Jake Brown. I answered probably 3,000 questions <laughs> there, I'm going to say. I think I said Aristotle in my first answer. I'm going to stick with Aristotle. I think that... Uh, all right, guy who knows a lot about a lot of different things, so there would be a breadth of conversation, and I think he would be just blown away by vaporizer technology in general. So I'm going to go with Aristotle. Otto from Denmark asks, uh, Yo, Jake, I'm a longtime lurker on r slash trees. Shout out trees uh, from Denmark. Who wants to know what are your favorite things to do when high? Personally, I like a hot shower and playing video games. Okay, hot shower and video games, both great answers. Um, I used to do video games a lot. I would play Diablo 3 and listen to podcasts. Um, I, I played Diablo 3. Right, I quit right before it got good again. Um, so that was a bummer. Um, but yeah, and now I play a lot of Magic the Gathering online. Um, I love riding a bike when it's high. I'm kind of uh, bummed it hasn't been better bike weather. Um, but yeah, there's nothing better than just getting super high and riding a bike. Um, also, check to see if that's legal in your local area. <laughs> I think that might count as a DUI. Uh, next question comes from Man, Illinois. We all know you love to smoke and even get paid for it. What other hobbies do you like to partake in when you're not busy making great YouTube videos? Ah, oh, thanks, Matt in Illinois. Um, I think I just literally just covered that. <laughs> um, other hobbies... Um, I, uh, I'm becoming a craft beer enthusiast. I went to a beer tasting and was going to kind of like do this, uh, article about the difference between like a cannabis cup and then a beer fest. Um, but that never really panned out. I really, um, I, but I'm enjoying it. I did a brew with these guys called the arms who were here in Denver for our comedy game show. And they just kept tasting me on different types of beer. And so I started to appreciate it, uh, the same way that, uh, people enjoy cannabis all the time. Uh, the other thing I would say is uh, I'm a, a huge home cook. I love I love uh, doing sous vide, pasta from scratch. I love weird projects. Usually we'll just go to the store and buy something at random and then figure out what to make with, uh, from there. All right. Um, Shelby in Colorado asks, where can a consumer find a list of the locations which have their products removed for non-compliant chemical use, i.e. pesticides, fungicides, etc., and what dates the products were affected. Okay, so I know that the cannabis has covered this a lot, and if you go to the cannabis.co slash tag slash marijuana dash recall, it's a mouthful, uh, that all of the kind of specific ones are listed there. I don't know if anybody has a master list, and I couldn't find anybody who had said that they had seen one. So that might be a really cool resource to make uh, in the community if somebody has a lot of free time and is good with spreadsheets. That would be great. <laughs> Next question is, uh, Swag Fetus asks, how can I get baked in public without the people around me knowing? Ah, the secret stoner. Uh, I mean, edibles are the most obvious choice. I've seen people that get those pipes that look like a cigarette, like the one hitter, but it looks like there's a filter on it, which have fooled no one ever. Um, just be cool with people in public knowing you're high. I think that's the best advice I have, that it's fine. Uh, most people are just worried about the shit they have going on in their lives. Um, and if someone wants to report you for like being high, I don't think that that, I don't think being high is a crime most places, but I could be wrong. Last question is, are you aware of your, <laughs> last question, Ben from Ohio, not Ben from Omaha, Ben from Ohio asks, are you aware of your resemblance to Johnny Knoxville? 
All right, now I think that that's a compliment, but I'm not sure. I usually get Jeff Goldblum, like a, a young Jeff Goldblum is uh, is what people usually tell me. So I'm just going to start saying, nope, I, I hear more Johnny Knoxville. Um, all right, Ben from Ohio, you're going to get our prize. Uh, so it's a Keefe Cola fridge magnet bottle opener thing, and then this vape pen, which I do not have a charger for. If you want to start shopping for chargers right now, it's that little pinhole attachment right there. That's how you do it. I'm sorry. I'm so self-conscious about how much I've been licking my lips. I have the worst chapped lips, and now I'm the lip licker guy in his videos. <laughs> That's not cool. Um, all right, so if you want a chance uh, at a prize, next week I'm going to be giving away... Let's say this pen, uh, so a Believe Simple pen. So if you want to send me questions, it's really easy. You can go to jakebrown.com, I think, slash contact, or just scroll down. You see my contact form. You can send them through there. You can also send them to this email address uh, where I check them more frequently. Please make sure to include where you're from, uh, country, state, city, whatever you want to tell me uh, so that people, I can tell you apart. I had two Bens this week. What would I have done if Ben wasn't from Omaha and Ben was from Ohio? Or also, I might just think you're Ben from the same place sending in a lot of different questions. So maybe Ben from Ohio and Omaha are the same person, but that's all right. You fooled me once. Um, okay. So again, uh, if you want to get your questions selected, send me something that I haven't heard before, something that's weird or different. Um, and, uh, and awesome. I'll be back next Wednesday to, uh, to review some more stuff. Or answer some questions. <laughs>